Hi everybody. In this video, Movie Recap will tell you about an old film with the title, What the Peeper Saw, in 1972. This film tells the story of a beautiful woman named Eilize who has just moved into her new house. Because Eilize has just married a rich widower and has one child. Without further ado, let's get on with the story. That afternoon, Eilize had just returned to her new home. Then when Eilize was drinking Coca-Cola in the kitchen, suddenly there was a knock on the door from the room. It turned out to be the son of her husband named Marcus. For a moment Eilize was silent because Marcus should not have come home from school yet. Marcus said that he came home early because Marcus was bored at school. Eilize then said to Marcus, if Eilize almost called the police because she thought the voice was the sound of a thief coming into the house. Because in that house Eilize was alone without any household assistance. After that Eilize tried to offer Marcus food for lunch. But Marcus refused and did not want to eat. Eilize was confused about how Eilize should take care of her stepson. Eilize also watches about Marcus's hobby, which is very fond of reading books of knowledge. Even Marcus had read books that no child of Marcus's age had read. This prompts Eilize to adjust to Marcus. But suddenly Marcus asked Eilize's aid. This confused Eilize. One night Eilize got a call from her husband asking how he was and also wanted to talk to Marcus. Then Eilize came to Marcus who was taking a shower with his phone to give to Marcus. After Marcus finished talking to his father. Marcus gave the phone back to Eilize. But suddenly Marcus took the opportunity by holding Eilize's chest from behind while Eilize was talking to her husband on the phone. This made Eilize feel uncomfortable and made her go out of the bathroom. After that incident, Eilize felt that something was wrong with Marcus. Even Eilize never saw Marcus play with friends his aid. Marcus just always plays alone. So inevitably Eilize tried to accompany Marcus to play and swim together. With the hope that Eilize can familiarize herself with Marcus. A few weeks later Marcus's father finally came home from his work in Paris. Eilize and Marcus pick her up at the airport. Marcus's father's name is Paul. Paul was happily greeted by his wife and child. Because he was too happy Paul began to tease Eilize by stroking Eilize's thigh who was driving. Marcus noticed this. It turned out that it made Eilize become unfocused in driving and almost hit a truck on the way. When they got to Paul's house and Eilize immediately made out very hard. Then one night the three of them went to dinner at a restaurant. Then Marcus started throwing tantrums and showing his weirdness. When Paul asked Eilize. Was it Eilize who took the money in Paul's drawer? Eilize also replied that she did not know about it. But Marcus here instead corners and accuses Eilize. In fact, Marcus had taken the money. Even though Eilize had told the truth, Paul didn't want the situation to escalate further, finally choosing to ignore it and continue their dinner. Arriving at the house Eilize secretly entered Marcus's room to find Paul's money. Because Eilize was sure that Marcus was the one who took it, but the effort was fruitless. Instead of finding money, Eilize found a torn letter from Marcus's school. When the torn letter was compiled by Eilize, it turned out that the letter contained a warning and a call to Marcus's parents. Out of curiosity, Eilize went to Marcus's school and asked the principal directly. When arrived at school, Eilize got a surprising fact. It turned out that Marcus had actually been expelled from his school. The principal said that since his late mother, Marcus had often been alone and looked strange. Even the principal had seen him kill a cat and it was an act that the school could not tolerate. The principal also said that this Marcus had no friends. Even though Marcus is a smart student there. One night Paul and Eilize went to visit a friend's house who was having a party. Their Eilize felt uncomfortable with the party because almost everyone there was drinking while drunk. Then Eilize went to the toilet and met the owner of the house named Sophie. It turns out that Sophie is a good friend of Marcus's late mother. Sophie looks so gloomy and lonely even though she has a party at her house. Investigating. It turns out that Sophie remembers Marcus's late mother. 
because they are very close like sisters. But Marcus's mother did not live long because of an incident. Sophie then told the incident of how Marcus's mother died. At that time Marcus's mother was in a pond. But when he threw himself into the pool, suddenly Marcus's mother had convulsions until she died. It was previously known that Marcus's mother had a history of heart disease. So it can be said that the incident and it happened due to his heart. It turns out that this story was never told by Paul. This made Eilis feel irritated. Because Paul is considered not open about his past. Eilis also tells Paul that yesterday Eilis went to Marcus's school and met the headmaster. Eilis tells that Marcus got a summons for Paul. But Marcus tore the letter so it doesn't reach Paul. Eilis also informs that Marcus has been expelled from his school because Marcus killed a cat. Hearing that Paul was not too surprised. Even Paul was seen defending Marcus. Until there was a heated argument between Eilis and Paul that night. The next morning Eilis tried to go up to the attic of the house. Eilis finds a black box in which there are a lot of clothes of the late Marcus's mother. Eilis thought that Marcus was the one who put these clothes. Ellis decided to go to Marcus's room and talk to him. However, when Eilis asked him to go out for a walk, Marcus refused. It was as if Marcus knew that Eilis wanted to talk about her mother. Eilis became suspicious that it seemed like Marcus was hiding something. Finally Eilis found out for herself by going to Sophie to discuss more about Marcus's mother. And sure enough it turns out that Marcus's mother died not because of a heart problem. But at that time Sophie saw that there was an electric cable that was deliberately placed in the pool. And make the pool water have electricity. Sophie believes that the incident was a deliberate act by someone. It's just that Sophia doesn't know who did it. After hearing that, Eilis immediately talked to Paul about it. But Paul didn't really respond and asked Eilis not to talk about it anymore. Since then Eilis felt that she was not valued as a wife. Because Paul seems to love and defend Marcus more. The next day when they had dinner together, Eilis looked uninspired. Because Eilis had been fighting with Paul since yesterday's incident. But Marcus is happy to see Eilis being scolded by her father. Eilis, who is already half crazy for seeking the truth. Finally Eilis drinks alcohol every day while constantly babbling to Marcus. Then Eilis approached Paul who was going to work abroad again. Eilis offered to take Paul to the airport. However, Paul refused because Eilis was still under the influence of alcohol. This made Eilis even more sad because Paul only said goodbye to Marcus. After Paul left, Eilis returned to the attic and found another oddity. Eilis found a hole that could peek straight into her room. Eilis immediately suspected that it must be Marcus peeking at her from the attic. Eilis immediately rushed to Marcus in his room to scold and ask directly about his mother's incident. This time Eilis was really firm for Marcus to tell the truth. Then Marcus said that all these answers are not free. Marcus ordered Eilis to undress for one answer. Because for the sake of knowing the truth of his mother's incident, Eilis was willing to take off her clothes. But that wasn't enough to make Marcus say it all. Until Eilis even recklessly let go of everything and exposed her body. Seeing his stepmother naked Marcus finally told the truth. If indeed it was Marcus who caused the mother to die. I don't know why Marcus did that. Now Eilis knows the truth that this boy is a psychopath. Finally Eilis reported this incident to Paul. With all the evidence he had including showing the hole in the attic. When Eilis wanted to show the hole, it was closed again. Seeing this Paul doesn't trust Eilis anymore and thinks she's insane. Even Paul sent Eilis to a psychologist. Eilis tried to tell the psychologist everything she experienced and knew while at Paul's house. Until it came to the psychologist's question that Eilis couldn't answer. As a result, Eilis was deemed completely insane and was admitted to a mental hospital for rehabilitation. A few months later Eilis was declared cured and picked up by Paul. When they met Marcus, they seemed to be on good terms. 
Even Eyelise didn't hesitate to kiss Marcus lovingly. After Paul left, Eyelise also invites Marcus to play toss with his dog Marcus. This made Marcus run after his dog which was running all the way to the street. Marcus did not notice that a car was approaching him. Finally Marcus was hit and died on the spot. Eyelise put on a straight face because it was actually Eyelise who planned this. So that Eyelise could live in peace with Paul. That was a storyline of this film. See you again in the next films. Thanks.